so everyone take out your book 7 okay now we will start book 7 so this is your assessment 4 so first chapter of book 7 is air and water so here you see solve the crossword using the given clues here some clues are given you have to solve this crossword you can solve it yourself so you will do it next you see air you must have seen a kite flying what makes it fly it is the air that makes a kite fly so everyone has seen especially during this time no that kites are flying in the sky in the evening you will see in the morning you will see so what makes it fly how kites are flying we can fly we cannot fly but kites can fly so kites are flying with the help of the air because it's very light it's made of paper so that's why air helps kites to fly next you see what do you do when you want to blow up a balloon you blow air from your mouth into the balloon so you know not balloons so whenever you will decorate something you will decorate suppose your birthday you will decorate with with balloons so from your mouth we <clears throat> from your mouth you will blow the air into the balloon and then we can blow a balloon okay otherwise we cannot blow a balloon so balloons are also blowing with the help of air next you see more about air so here some more details are there about air okay air is everywhere around us though we cannot see it we can feel it so air is everywhere around us everywhere air is there but we cannot see we can see we cannot see so if you stand near the fan you will feel it but you cannot see so it's invisible air is invisible we cannot see but we can feel it next all living beings need air to breathe so all the living beings be it human beings plants animals birds fish all the human beings all the living beings need air to breathe because without breathing we cannot live and for living we need to breathe so he who helps us in breathing air helps us in breathing next air takes up space that is why a balloon gets bigger when we blow air into it first a balloon you see it's very small but when you blow air into the balloon it becomes bigger in size so air requires space it takes up space next air always blows in a certain direction the movement of different objects along with the air tells us about the direction in which the air is blowing so air always blows in a certain direction okay sometimes from east sometimes from west north south from a particular direction to a certain direction it blows and how we can find out the direction you see the leaves leaves are blowing which side the leaves are blowing uh, means the leaves are moving or paper or the lightweight things like plastic okay or whenever you are walking suppose your hairs are your hairs are moving so which way the movement of different objects with the movement of the objects we can find out that from which direction to which direction the air is blowing okay always air blows in a certain direction that means in a particular direction clear here you see where do they get it from okay fish live in water how then do they get air to breathe fish lives in water not only fish many and other water animals are there but they are also breathing they also need air so from where they are getting the air fish use the air present in water they breathe through their grills like we are breathing you know, with our nose with our mouth fish they breathe with their grills and they get the air from water the air which is present in the water fish are using that air okay so our next topic is wind you see winds are blowing okay. moving air is called wind a slow and gentle wind is called breeze so the moving air the air which moves that moving air is called wind 
So winds are, wind has two types. Winds are of two types. One is very slow and one is very fast. So the slow and gentle wind which moves very slowly and very gently that wind is called breeze. A strong and fast wind is called a storm. So during this rainy season no, at night we face no, storms. So the wind is, which is very strong which is very fast. Storms can be very dangerous. It can blow over things like trees, houses, etc. The roof of the trees are destroyed. Then trees are fallen. No? Storms are very dangerous. It's very destructive. But winds are very, I mean, breeze are slow and gentle. So two types of winds are there, breeze and storm. Breeze is very slow and gentle and storm is very strong and fast. It is very dangerous. Next, uses of air. So air is very useful. Now, here some uses are given. Number first point you see, it helps plants to breathe and grow. Without air, plants cannot grow also, plants cannot breathe. So it helps the plants to grow. Next, air helps wet cloths to dry. You see your, at your home, after washing the cloths, we are keeping the cloths outside. So not only with the help of sunlight, air also required to dry the wet cloths. Okay, during rainy season, you see, cloths are always wet. So air helps the wet cloths to dry. Next, air helps things like the kites, birds and aeroplanes to fly. So this bird, aeroplane, kite, these all the things fly in the sky. How? With the help of air. Air helps them to fly. Next, air helps things to move. For example, it makes a boat sail. It also moves the blades of a windmill. Windmill, have you seen windmills? It uh, measures the direction or the speed of the air. Okay, that suppose from east, air is blowing, it will move towards the opposite direction. So from this, we can find out with the help of windmill, we can find out that which direction the wind is moving, the air is moving and at what speed the air is moving. So it helps this windmill to move this this is the blades of the windmill boats also sail in the water so air helps boats also to sail okay so here you see some jumble words are there pictures are given and jumble words are there you can do it yourself you do it yourself okay this is your homework our next topic water We all need water. Plants and animals also need water to live. So, as uh, air is very important for us, water is also very important. Without water also we cannot live. Both plants and animals, all the living things need water for living. We need water for doing many things. Okay, not only for drinking, for many things we need water. Suppose you see, bathing. To take bath, we need water. Without water, we cannot bath. Cooking. Without water, we cannot cook our food. Watering the plants. Okay. Those who are doing gardening, we have to give water to the plants also. Not only human beings need water, plants also need water. Next, turn the page. Next. Washing cloths. For washing our cloths, we need water. Without water, we cannot wash our cloths. Then putting out flames in case of fire. If some houses or somewhere in shops or somewhere is caught fire, that time we are calling the fire brigade and they are putting out the flames with the help of water. Okay, so water is very useful. As air is very useful, water is also very useful and important. So, our next topic is sources of water. Now, where from we are getting the water? We are getting water from various parts. Most part of the earth is covered with water. Our earth, most part of our earth is covered with water and a very small portion is covered with land. 
but only a small portion of this water is suitable to be used by us but all the waters we cannot use a very small portion of water is there which is suitable that means which we can use here you see rain is the main source of water on earth so which is the main source of water rain rain is the main source of water on earth rain water fills up rivers ponds lakes and oceans rivers ponds lakes and oceans are filled with the help of rain water some of this water also goes into the ground this is called ground water the water which the ground absorbs that means which the land absorbs that water is called ground water we get this water by digging wells or through hand pumps or tubes wells you see in the villages or in small towns you will see wells are there and from wells we are getting the underground water with the help of this wells then tube wells i think you have seen then hand uh, hand pumps are there then pumps are there no with the help of this pumps waters are given into the crops in our houses also we are using this pump to take the underground water next the water from this sources is not clean it has dirt sand and worms in it drinking unclean water can make us sick we must boil or filter this water before drinking so the water which we are getting from this underground it's not clean okay because under the ground lots of worms are there insects are there dirt sand and when we are taking that water all these dirty things also coming with this that's why if we drink that unclean water we can fall sick so what we should do always this underground water we should boil we must boil it or filter okay before drinking we must filter or boil that water nowadays we get water right at our homes through taps but nowadays what taps are there in our houses but earlier all the houses they didn't have taps that time people are drinking this underground water the next topic caring for water so we should take care of water we should not waste because some places are there in our country those who are getting very less water they are facing lots of difficulties they have to walk for a mile to get this drinking water okay the water that is suitable for drinking is limited so we should not waste water for drinking the water which we are getting it's very limited it's very less so we should not waste that okay we are getting available water we must waste no because we are getting some people are there we, those who are not getting enough drinking water so we should save water given below are some tips to save water here some tips are given by following these tips we can save water first you see never keep the tap open while brushing the teeth while brushing you should not keep the tap open when we will wash your mouth that time only you should open the tap okay some people are there you know, they are like opening the tap and they are keep on brushing their teeth and wasting water but we should not do this next get the leaking taps fixed if leakage are there in our taps in our homes we should repair it we should fix it otherwise full day waters are wasting do not waste water while bathing while bathing also first you should fill your bucket and if you require more water then only you should open the tap not like you will open the tap waters are wasting and you are having your bath no next tell others about the importance of saving water now you know the importance so you should tell others okay not to waste water if you see someone is wasting water in your home you should tell them not to waste water you should tell them the importance of saving water all right so i hope you have understood understood this chapter and it's clear so read the chapter properly read the spellings reading okay read properly and go through this video again then it will be clear to you okay so thank you everyone and stay safe